Okay. So next question is, to accumulate 8,000 at the end of three and years. So they want to make this fancy. Okay. But we know accumulation is involved. So now deposits of 98 are made at the end of each of the first n years, okay? And then 196 at the end of two n years, correct? But all in all, these deposits need to accumulate to 8,000, right? So, the first thing that we're gonna have to start off with is deposits of a 98 are made at the end of each of the first uh, N years. Okay, so since 98 is made at the end of each of the first N years, there are N, N amount of payments of 98, right? So let's find the accumulation of 98. So we're going to use the future value formula of unknown n i, right? So we're looking at expansion since they're not giving us a lot of information except the fact that 1 plus i to the n will equal 2. So let's find the accumulation to the n year. Okay, well, we input two, we get two minus one, which is one, so one over i, then one times 98, so it's 98 over i. Now we still need to accumulate it to three n, right? So we're gonna do, there are two n payment, two n years left, right? From uh, n to three n, three n minus n is two n. So we're gonna do one plus i to the two n, right? Now we're, we're again given that this equals two, right? So we're gonna do two squared, which is four. Now we're gonna do four times 98, and then we'll end up getting uh, 392 over i. Now we are going to take uh, the 196 future value at 2n because there are a stream of payments of 196 over here, right? So we're gonna get 2n here. So it would be again one plus i to the two n this time minus one. We know that this is again two, so two squared this time, which is four, four minus one, three, three over i. So three times 196 is 588. So we found the accumulation for both of these factors, right? Now uh, we are going to uh, now we're going to add both of these values. So 588 plus 392, we get 980 over i. We accumulate to 8,000. So now we do 980 divided by, well, yeah, we bring i to the other side, then we do 90, 980 divided by 8,000, and we end up getting 0.1225, which again is 12.25%. Okay. 